stomp them to a pulp. That's one of my favorite things in MMA in self-defense. Defense against stomps. Let's check it out. Stomps are one of the most effective tools there are and it's so easy, like you just stomp them to a pulp, you re-stomp the groin and you're just gonna like tap dancing on them, maybe soccer kick their head or boom. Uh, it's so easy, incredibly effective, I don't even want to stop. Um, but they're surprisingly easy to defend too. So it looks so dangerous and probably is, I wouldn't know. But when he's trying to stomp me, you know, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna keep his legs under control and as soon as the time comes, I'm standing up. Now look, when I'm on the floor, I look helpless, but I'm not. In fact, I have two advantages. Number one, I have four limbs to use. I can use my feet and my hands freely. Okay, so it's a good defense position. And number two, he can use force downwards only as much as his weight is. And I can use force upwards as much as I'm strong. Okay, so he can only use the weight. But I can, can you come closer for a while? Look, I can, I can show you, it's easy for me to like lift his body on one leg. So it's very easy for me to be much stronger. At first I'm gonna take this position here, this one, like a bark. My hands protect my face, my feet are curled inwards, knees close, boop, like this. And I will play danger zone, so anytime his legs come within reach, I'll just kick the leg. I'm trying to, if it's self defense I'm trying to break his knee. If it's MMA, I'm trying to break his knee. If it's sparring, I'm trying to shock him a bit, but... <laughs> so, if I cannot hit it like this, I'm trying to hit with a heel. Oh, look, he's already going away, bam. If he's trying to kick, the kick is gonna be fairly slow. I'm just kicking against him, boom, whatever he's trying. Yeah, it's so easy. Boop, you can try whatever you want. I'm just, boom, extending my leg, boop. Yeah, it's so difficult to effectively hit me from there. Yeah, even if he's trying, you know, like a downwards kick or a soccer kick or whatever. It's so difficult to effectively hit me, boom. I can also try to, now he's already staying out of distance. Maybe he's a bit scared of my kicks here. Rightfully so. Because like, those kinds of kicks were allowed in Pride for a long time and there weren't any serious injury. But what got serious injuries is like when he's coming closer a bit, even a bit more, up kicks. Did some of the most destructive attacks I've ever seen. I've seen a guy getting a, a quadruple jaw fracture from an up kick because it's so strong. So what I'm doing now, playing danger zone, just keep him at bay kick. I can play that for a long time, especially if it's only one attacker. And then at the right time, so I'm going on one elbow, I can still kick, I can still use my hand to defend, I can still keep him at bay, boop. And now at the right time, and I'm gonna do it very slowly, on the hand, and now, boop. That transition needs to be very fast. The one from here, from here, huh? here I can still kick and defend myself, from here to there. Now I'm standing up again. That is how to defend storms. Watch it again. So if it's on that side, I'm going to show it from the other side how to stand up. So I'm on a bark, bark position, playing danger zone, kicking his leg, maybe kicking his balls if you're into that. Boop. Then come to here, you know, maybe retreat a bit, try to kick him, just make it danger zone. So the, the danger zone game wants to have the attacker become timid. So he needs to feel that anytime he's coming close, I'm kicking. You know, and he's like, whoa, I'm like a porcupine. Even though he's a lion at the moment, I'm a porcupine. And he's like, it's just not worth it. You know, he's coming close, he wants to kick me, but maybe I'm gonna destroy his jaw or his child-making uh, child ability or, you know, whatever, stomp his toes. So it's just too dangerous and it's easier for him to wait for me to get up and go into normal fighting mode again. So stomp defense, surprisingly easy. Just make sure to have those three principles. 
be tight. Hip off the floor, shoulder off the floor, elbows in, knees up, like a bug, okay? Toes curled, play danger zone when he's coming close, kick his knees, kick his thighs, kick his balls, kick his belly, kick his head if he's making the mistake of trying to grab my feet, boom! I'm kicking his head, yeah, okay, so that, and the third one, work on the technical stand-up to regain fighting position. Stomp defense, as I said, surprisingly easy. Stomps are fearsome, they're scary, but not nearly as dangerous as you probably think they are once you know how to defend yourself. Remember, they were legal in Pride FC in Japanese uh, promotion for many years. I don't know if there has been even a single knockout or injury from it, but up kicks. Up kicks led to a lot of knockouts. Hope you like it and see you next time.